Alright everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about a space suit. Yeah, another space video. And this time it's a raid. This raid is called the Jurassic. Everyone, if you play space, you, you know what this suit is. This fast little speed demon with an annoying melee and a stern fast. Yes, this suit. Now, <laughs> we're just going to break it down at the level 3. But, you know, same mentality goes down for his lower levels in terms of build. But, as you can see here, we're splitting up into three different categories. That is melee attack boost, the melee boost itself, ballistic defense, and HP. So this suit's a very fragile suit, so we're going to pump a little bit of HP into this suit to give you a little bit more survivability. That's what also ballistic defense is for, and the melee boost, just to, you know, instantly kill any support you see. So, let's go into it. You have the Arm Vulcan, which it, it operates like a Vulcan. It can't stun due to this 42 ammo. Your Beam Saber, which hits pretty hard. I don't have the on level for level th for level 3, but it'd be 2090 damage for level 3. You have Sturmfaust, a shield. We're pumping levels 1 through 3 Enhanced Fanley Program, level 1 and 5 Strength and Frame, and level 2 Anti-Ballistic Armor. We'll get into like how to play this suit. It's very, very cut and dry how we play a suit, and this is a really good suit, so I recommend picking it up. All right, so we will go into the skills. This video is gonna be pretty quick. Sorry about that, but it's, there's not much to talk about the draw C other than move fast, don't get hit, hit really hard. So moving into the skills, maneuver armor level one, which is really good in space. Force injector level one, and high spec and back, dodge roll level one. High performance radar level one and special leg buffer level one. But before we go any more about this suit, let's head over to the practice range. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, welcome to the practice range portion of this video. So essentially, with the draw C, we got really only two actual engages outside of our teammates covering for us. And that's the Vulcan, which fires pretty quickly. As you can see, it does a good amount of damage and it staggers. Granted, it takes about 30 bullets to stagger, so you know, you're laying the fire on it. Uh, opponent, it will burn up your magazine, but it will do a ton of damage. Your storm house is, I don't think it kills this gun cannon. Yeah, see? You know, it's good. But here's the thing about this suit. So it's got and back. So we already know that's, you know, basically ba balance it for space. We can just basically transition straight to cruise from boosting. Which is also useful, useful for your melee arm, for your maneuver armor. Because, you know, there you go. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Space topography means that your thruster gauge is 1.5 times what the actual value in the in the menu say. So I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, essentially, this is what we're gonna l look for. As a on approach, you're gonna Vulcan. All right, and then poke somebody down with Vulcans. If you get the stagger, go for the downswing. Back up immediately, cancel. Downswing again, cancel immediately. The thing is, that was really nice about this melee is the animation can be cancelled a quarter of the way through. Otherwise, you're going to be flying really far. You know. You can fly from basically the start of this pillar here to the behind of that pillar. But thing is, say I want to cancel. As soon as I start launching forward, I can cancel it. Baiting out tackles. This suit, you are able to outplay your opponents very well. So keep that in mind. My go-to stun is the Sturmfaust. Once you're done poking somebody down at range with your Vulcans, switch to the Sturmfaust. Granted, it takes a second for it to ready. But once it's ready to go, got good splash damage. You know. And there's a dodge roll. So you see, the Zuda really couldn't do much due to a high melee stat. And the, mo and the potency of this downswing is really strong. So... With that in mind, always downswing. You're not trying to, especially since you only got one swing, you're not trying to like neutral back up, do anything else, all right? Just just full commit to the downswing and cancel as soon as you hit your opponent. Unless you're trying to bait out the tackle, then, you know, just, who cares really, you know? This suit can tear apart any suit it wants in space as long as you can keep stunning an opponent. So you're really fast. You can hit enemy three times with your melee. As long as you're good. 
and you're really mastering the canceling. But other than that, this suit is basically just a downswing machine. Sadly, there's not much to it other than stun, downswing, cancel, boost, downswing again, cancel, wait for enemy to recover from invincibility frames, downswing again, and go. So, you know, very basic suit, but it does a ton of damage. Its melee is <laughs> very forgiving in the fact that they could have made it harder to cancel, but you can cancel it out of any point in the animation as long as it's moving forward. And yeah. Draw C custom. I mean, the Draw C and the Draw C customs share the same animations and the same thing canceling. The Draw C custom will go over in a different video, but it's got a different primary weapon. It's a general type. Performs slightly differently. But yeah, no. Draw C. Highly recommend picking the suit up. It is a very aggressive, low cost raid in space, and yeah. As long as you can stay moving and not get caught out by an enemy or locked down by an enemy, you'll survive and, you know, be a bane to the enemy support or enemy raids or enemies in general. So, yeah, pick the suit up. Any level of it, it plays exactly the same. And yeah, it's a good suit. If there's anything I missed about this suit or any suits you want to see in the future, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, if you like this video, make sure to smack that like button. And if you like this video a lot, hit that subscribe button so you get alerts when the next videos go live in your subscription box. And as always, this has been Durange Pyro, aka Grand Warrior, signing off.